from Zurich to uh, Pittsburgh following the weekend game. This is uh, Daoud coming forward, finding Schmelzer. This is promising for uh, the Germans. Goetze, clever one, two, cut back is in, and the goal I think is an own goal. There might have been a touch from Max Philipp, but Dortmund, against the run of play, really have the lead. Somewhat fortunate, nicely set up, and somehow it found its way into the net, possibly via a defender. Either way, it's Dortmund 1, Benfica 0. And all of that quality that we've seen from this Benfica side, this lovely football that they've played, they've got themselves into some dangerous areas. Great play from Dortmund, just as we were speaking. Well, they needed to make something happen in the game. They've certainly done that. A couple of lovely little one-twos down the left-hand side. And Philip, as you just mentioned, John, his goal-scoring qualities of last season. Certainly came back. He wants to get himself onto the score sheet, which centre-forwards, all great centre-forwards want to do. Just gets a little half a yard on his marker. Sticks out that toe. Touch. Hard to see from this angle. Maybe that'll uh, put the wind into Dortmund's sails there. Heading potentially for a third successive victory in this tournament. It is uh, made across field by Dawood, and there's another chance, and it's another goal. May not count. Philip poaching. Oh, it does count. It does count. There's no flag, and uh, within the twinkling of an eye, Max Phillips got two goals, and Borussia Dortmund, who weathered. Heavy Benfica pressure for the opening 20 minutes suddenly find themselves 2-0 up. Well, it's a sublime. Oh, it is onside. I, I, when I initially saw it, I thought Philip was, Philip was on an offside position. The ball just comes in from the left-hand side into Goza. Lovely little flick over the defender's head. Philip times his run to perfection. And when you... can't get there and Benfica again are on the front foot they've started the second half well as they did the first that's a decent ball well, that's a tremendous goal put away beautifully by Almeida and that uh, has got Benfica back where they want to be back into the game early in the second half lovely through ball and Almeida the right fullback swept it into the net as if he was a centre forward. 2 1 now, Dortmund. Well, super finish from Almeida. You know, when you talk about full backs, first and foremost, the defenders, and you need to try and keep clean sheets. That hasn't happened. But we mentioned in the first half about the two full backs trying to push forward as much as they possibly could. Almeida, he plays a given goal, he keeps his run going, he gets it behind Dortmund. Very, very composed, and a great finish. Last hits. Super finish. Yep, really good finish from a overlapping right fullback. He's made over 150 appearances for Benfica. He actually featured uh, for Portugal in the World Cup four years ago in Brazil. And he showed his quality there, steered it beautifully. Come again, uh, Benfica. Half tackle by Zagadou. Set up. Semedo hit it well. Might get a second chance and takes it. Benfica complete their comeback. And it's Alpha Semedo with another good finish. First effort blocked. Second one tucked away beautifully. 2 2. And what a finish from Semedo. He got his first opportunity, the ball comes out to him, it looks as if he's taken a strike on from 25 to 30 yards out. Gets blocked. Eventually drives into that 18-yard box and again keeps his cool and again it's to the right-hand side of hits. He said, you know, he's lacking a little bit of confidence. He's playing his third game in this competition, but looks very, very shaky, but Samada, absolutely superb. Here we go then. 
with penalty. Firmly. Oof, just in off the post. Put pressure on Benfica by scoring this one for Dortmund. He's hit the post and it's come out this time. Advantage Benfica. Gomez hitting the woodwork. Walks away disconsolately. The red marker tells you that he's failed to hit the net. Goalkeeper went the wrong way, but the ball take the kick and he scores very comfortably high to the keeper's left for Dortmund needs to score just about squeezes it Benfica's advantage in the penalty shootout and he has done it's another Spilar stands between him and uh, the net, but it's in vain because Ross, uh, with whom he won three titles, plenty of experience. Oh, he's missed it. It's gone over. Samaris has skied his penalty. And it's 3-3 after four kicks apiece. And he's turned his head straight down. He's looked at the ground as soon as he's taken his penalty kick here. Disappointed. Dortmund will lead for the first time in the shootout if he converts. Which he doesn't. Saved by Svila. Excellent save by the 18-year-old. From a penalty by another 18-year-old. Which means that Benfica will win if they score the next kick. Oh, it's such a shame. He's just stepped up to that. In the World Cup for Argentina three weeks ago. Chance to win it here for Benfica. And does. Terrific kick. And Benfica triumph, having been 2-0 down at half-time. They got themselves level.